All right, guys, so I'm Dr. Omar Khan, and I'm going to talk about this uh, very common residency interview question. Why should we choose you over other applicants for our residency program? Uh, why are you superior to other candidates? So let's discuss this, and I will look to provide a sample response also uh, in this video. So keep uh, one thing in mind uh, throughout this residency process and, this, and these interviews. Conference is essential, but don't overdo it. You must, you know, of course, look to project an authentic a real persona uh, that's what you should look to do don't over inflate over estimate your accomplishments um or what you bring actually to this residency program when you respond to this question of why should we choose you of course your ultimate objective should be to you know persuade the program director or any interviewer to select select you over any other applicant however avoid making negative comments about other uh, other people's other candidates qualifications so um you will come out really petty if you say uh, things like well uh, many applicants um have numerous attempts at the usmle but i i passed on, on the very first first attempt on, on all of these tests so <laughs> don't say anything like that or a lot of IMGs, international medical graduates, just don't have the, you know, the required clinical experience that I do um, and are not really suited for U.S. for the U.S. medical system. So avoid saying things uh, like that. Instead, respond to uh, the interviewer with something like this, and I'll try to uh, give a good attempt. Well, thanks for this very important question, and I realize that there are numerous able candidates who have applied to your program and I am never to belittle anyone however what I can do is surely highlight my strong aspects I believe um, I'm a strong candidate for this specialty but more specifically your program uh, clearly because of my motivation and my experience that you can you can definitely uh, see on my CV um, so if you are an IMG you can mention the following um, as you see, I have the experience that will allow me to hit the ground running on the first day of my residency, given my one years of um, internal medicine or residency experience back home. Um, you can add, um, um, I also have valuable US clinical experience, which, which would surely bridge any gap and uh, will provide me with, uh, and has provided me with adequate an adequate understanding of the different types of EMRs that are used and how doctors actually interact with the nursing staff as well as patients and, and families here in the US. Um, if you are an AMG, an American medical graduate, you can surely talk uh, about how um, you have enjoyed your rotations in the specialty and this is what you see yourself doing in the future. And if you have any relevant research experience, you can highlight that as well as, let's say, uh, well, my publications, my research experience represents my interest and the, and the ability to bridge my clinical ability with uh, uh, the medical research side and this will surely continue during my residency and i believe i might be better at this than many other candidates um, i surely respect everyone else yet uh, since you asked i believe i do have great potential but thanks for answering this question yes so anything specific um, you guys uh, can relate with the program with your experience you should definitely highlight that also um, such as let's say if you are if you are already in this area in the same geographical location mention that hey i already live here it's not a, a big deal for me to move or uh, come to this program so to successfully respond to this residency questions you must have of course done your homework as well to understand what it, what are the details for this program for instance you should mention you wish to learn in an environment that uses uh, the a patient centric model of care um, if this is a community based program or if this is a university program you know you should know that the people here do research and if your cv if your experience ties in then surely 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 mention that few things you should you know look to avoid as we talked earlier answers uh, such as you are a perfectionist you are hardworking. they are very general and they lack any specificity uh, that a program would be searching for while of course these might be powerful responses they're actually um, they're actually fairly weak forms of expression instead of just using generalizations to describe yourself you will need to you know try to give examples of how, how and what you are and how you are hardworking. 
give a few examples and say this is what I did in the past and I will continue of course with that that is me I'm a I'm a I st I've struggled and I know struggle is good and I can struggle and succeed even more so things like that so you so your chances of a successful residency match will increase if you present yourself as a candidate who is a fit for that particular program whether it's a community based program or it is an academic based program Whatever the case, I think um, be genuine, be true to yourself, don't lie, don't belittle anybody else. So I think that should be it. It'll give you a few ideas. But anyways, um, if you want more, you can, of course, subscribe to this channel right over here. And I have another video on the question. Tell me about yourself. You can check that out right here. Anyways, this is Dr. Khan signing out. Thanks so much.